Hey guys, Fit Ministries Week 6 here, talking about counting our wins. Too often in life we get stuck on what we haven't accomplished, what we haven't done. We get down on ourselves, we can get real negative, we can start to blame other people, we can just live in the past, we can have resentment, bitterness, envy, all those things that don't move us forward towards our goals. When really when we take a good look at our life, we do have wins, we can find wins. And it's really not about defining something as a win or a loss, is how you, your attitude towards it. And look at, in the panel today, I talk about three famous people, Walt Disney, Michael Jordan, and, and Thomas Edison. And all, they all had what could be perceived as setbacks or failures, but they still persevered, and, and largely because it was their attitude towards it. You know, uh, Michael Jordan talked about, you know, losing 300 games, missing 26 game-winning shots. Um, you know, he said that, you know, the reason he has been successful is because he's failed. Thomas Edison, you know, it took him 10,000 tries to invent the light bulb. Instead of saying I failed 10,000 times, he just called it 10,000 steps. That is, a, that is counting something as a win versus a loss. And, you know, many times in life, our so-called losses, our setbacks are the things that teach us the most. And so at the end of every day, along with being gratitude, along with having gratitude, is what are your wins? You know, what are something that you did accomplish? You know, and I know some days like in business, you know, I don't make any new sales and any business things, but maybe a win for me is getting to spend an hour of, you know, quality time with my wife or my kids, uh, getting to connect with an old friend. If you really search out there, you will find things that are wins. Uh, it could be even keeping a positive attitude even when this, this, and this happened to me. That's a win, all right? So we got to have a winning mindset. Champions are made because they always expect to win, all right? They, they will have setbacks, they will have challenges, but they don't let them take, let them take it, let that take them down, there we go. Um, so it's really important to just really identify each day what went right today, and even if it didn't go right, you know, what did you get from it? That's still a win, like I said, I think the most learning occurs from challenges, uh, mistakes, things like that, how you come back from that, what do those things teach you much better than a textbook you know, some online course or some guru is going to teach you. So at the end of each day, I want you to count your wins along with your gratitudes, three gratitudes and three wins. We're starting to layer these things on. It's just a really work to keep, you can see this is work to keep your mindset positive. It's a big part of being successful, having a strong spirit, a strong mind, strong spirit, strong body. And so the exercise this week really has you sit and find 20 things in life that you can consider a win. And you might have to go back a ways but I bet everybody here can find 20 things that are a win. And it's really, being an old football coach, I like to think about it, it really keeps you on offense, all right? When we're always, you're, we're, in, we're always complaining or you know, living in the past or second guessing everything we do, it's kind of like in football playing the nickel prevent defense. It's playing not to lose. It's, it's using excuses and that never, if you ever watch football, the nickel prevent defense never, ever, ever works. Um, you know, playing not to lose never makes you, it never makes you win. It always seems to make you lose. So count your wins every day. Be positive. Write these things down. The, the, I, the action of writing it down seals it in your brain. And I like to do this at the end of every day, you know, along with my gratitudes because that, ends, that book ends the day. We talked about at the beginning, starting your day out right, looking at these things to help you end your day right. So you're bookending the day and you're keeping that mindset, that spirit positive. Because if we look around in life, everything that we have, especially if you live in the United States, um, we are very blessed and there are a lot of wins and benefits to living here. So we have to keep reminding ourselves of that. All right, we'll see you next week for Fit Ministries.